back to this already, the final segment of The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Going to spend some time talking to uh, Chris Kidd, brand new contributor on The Price of Business. I'm delighted to have him as a part of our program. He's going to be bringing really a lot of different insights. We're going to be talking a lot of what's happening in the sports business front, which is a passion of both of ours. Uh, we're going to talk about what's happening in uh, the financial front in general, and uh, looking forward to your insights you're going to be bringing, bringing to us uh, each week. Chris, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, I got it. Uh, you know, I'm really interested in a lot of these interviews we have in the works. It's fun to see uh, who we're going to have lined up. A lot of athletes, former athletes, uh, people that work with athletes, and kind of get a lot of insights because people are always intrigued by the business side of sports. And so uh, we're looking forward to, the, uh, to that. But talk about how how that is something that's been of interest to you. Well, I grew up around sports. I'm a coach's son. Um, you know, I've had a ball in my hand since I was in a baby crib. So uh, I've I've always just loved sports. I've always been around it. Uh, played football and basketball growing up, and uh, you know, as time went on, uh, I just I got a mentor that kind of took me under his wing, and I took a a liking to um, you know the business world and started learning how to handle my money and stuff and do really well with investments and. You know, the two things kind of just came together because you see a lot of the athletes, what happens with them after they retire and stuff. So I said, well, that's a perfect niche for me because it combines the best of both worlds. Right, because these guys are basket cases, many of them. Yeah. They really are. I mean, they came out of horrible, sometimes horrific circumstances. They had little uh, mentoring or p even parenting, as far as that goes, but they had natural and, and a skill, and someone noticed that skill, and they fostered that, but they didn't foster the, the, the whole individual. And it resulted in people who have great capacity to earn money, but not necessarily the, the means of taking care of it. Yeah, I've, I've even heard of uh, athletes that, um, you know, they were professional football or basketball players, and they're homeless today, which is really crazy. Um, I was reading a story about that the other day, and this, it blows my mind that somebody can make that much money and have nothing to show for it five nothing. years later. Yes, yeah, so many of them had sign-up bonuses that, that were more than people make in 20 or 30 years, sometimes in their whole life. Yeah, well, <laughs> one, of the, one of the things that I always have said to people is, you know, these guys, a lot of times kids come out of, you know, college – and they've never made even 30000 a year in their entire life. And all of a sudden, they're hit with a $30 million contract. Um, and, you know, as the old saying goes, a fool and his money are soon parted. Yeah. Um, if they don't know how to handle it, then they have other people who know things to do with it. And it's not always the right thing to do. Right. Now, recently, you gave a speech uh, regarding uh, debt and managing your money and, and that type of thing. Where was that at? Where was that speech? Um, that was in Key Largo, Florida. That was... Uh, down there by Miami, and that was a, a really great weekend. Had a, a great time. It's with a, a group that uh, actually focuses on um, finances and, and helping people financially. Yeah, very good. Do you do those uh, fairly often? Those kind of events? Yeah, um, I've got uh, you know they can. I've got people who can contact me either through my website or various uh, speaking networks and stuff. But um, yeah, I, I uh, do speaking when I can fit it into my schedule and when it comes around. Yeah. By the way, you can learn more about Chris at chriskid.com. Kid is with two Ds at the end, chriskid.com. And so uh, big emphasis, a big emphasis on the whole uh, area of debt. You know, uh, from a biblical perspective, debt equals slavery is what that entails. You know, and, and, and what's amazing is that uh, when I've gone through periods of, of dealing with debt, Whenever I've gotten unsaddled from a debt, it literally, literally feels like liberty. You know, it literally feels like freedom. Talk a little bit about that, because that's a big value you, you've uh, talked about. Yeah, there's, uh, <laughs> there's, I'm not sure there's much of a better feeling than knowing that you no longer have to keep paying on something that you've been paying on for however many years. I mean, it's a huge weight that lifts off your shoulders and, uh, you know, exactly like you said, it, it feels like freedom to a lot of people. Unfortunately, one of the other things that happens is uh, a lot of people go through that process and then all of a sudden they're back in debt six months later. Um, you know, a lot of times that happens like with vehicles and stuff. About the time they get a car paid off, then they need another one. So they have to go finance another vehicle. But um, that debt-free feeling usually lasts for a while, and, it, and it, it's fantastic for those who – 
learn to live their life that way. Should they, should they while you know, uh, paying off the car they have, be saving for the next car they need to get? Yeah, I always recommend um, planning ahead and saving for the, your next car first. In fact, um, planning to pay cash for the next car. Uh, that's one of the things I've talked about in my book was, uh, you know, how to not have to finance a car ever again. So uh, I'm I'm a big believer in planning ahead and uh, having the resources necessary to get what you need before you actually need it. The worst time to go shopping is when you need something. That's exactly right. That's exactly because you're going to end up making the worst choices at that time. You know, you're going to go for the, quote, best deal, and it usually means you're paying for it for months to come. Yeah, and it, it puts you in a horrible negotiating uh, position. If yeah. you They know you need it, you know you need it, so you can't just walk away. That's exactly right. Talking to Chris Kidd, by the way, it's chriskidd.com, chriskidd.com. By the way, tell us a little bit about the book. How do we get it? The book's called Defeating Debt. You can get it on uh, pretty much any of the major book outlets. There's Barnes & Nobles, Amazon, Target. You know, you can go straight to my website, chriskidd.com. That's one of the easiest ways to get it. Where would you look at chriskidd.com? There is a book page on there, or a products page, and it's under the store. People need to check that out, chriskid.com. Again, that's chriskid.com. You're going to be hearing Chris coming in on a regular basis, uh, giving us insights. We wanted a little uh, extra long time with you to, to get to know you. And uh, in, in the weeks to come, though, we're excited about the different uh, people you're going to be bringing on. Yeah, I'm excited, too. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. ChrisKid.com. You can check him out. We're going to be talking about your finances in general. A lot of talk about the sports business and entertainment business, something you and I both have interest in. We're going to be uh, bringing some very entertaining and informative segments just to you. I'm Kevin Price. want to wish you a great rest of your day, a great rest of your Monday. Hope you spend the rest of your day right here on this great station.